Hi guys, so thank you so much to those of you who've been keeping up with my stories and to those of you who requested a tutorial, I'm going to show you two things, how to keep your roses fresh as long as possible and then how to make them into a lovely bouquet. Okay, so first thing you wanna do is get uh, decent price roses. You don't have to spend a lot of money. This bouquet, it's gorgeous, cost me $7 at Trader Joe's. So you can go to Trader Joe's, Fairway Market, or um, Whole Foods. So as soon as you get home from buying them, you cut them at an angle so the water can get to them, and you put them in warm water. Do this right away because you don't know when was the last time that the store cut the stems. When you go to bed, you are going to put your flowers into the fridge. This is the, ma the main thing that you can do to help preserve your flowers. Make sure the water that you initially put in is warm though. That will help actually expand the rose. Warm water. Even though you're going to put it in the fridge later, you want to start with warm water. Okay, so I can't stress the whole fridge thing enough. If you notice the fancy flower shops, they all have their roses in the fridge. So if you have to be at work all day, um, put your flowers in the fridge. Even, even if you've kept them in the fridge overnight. Two things you want to do every day, cut them at an angle and always change the water, always back into warm water. Uh, because you're going to be cutting them every day and you want them to last, don't cut them too much. Just a little bit is enough so they don't get too short. Okay, so now for the drying. Now, when you start noticing that they're starting to wilt a little bit, that's pretty much the day you want to start drying them or as soon as possible. Uh, some people prefer to dry them while they're still closed up, like in a little bud and they haven't opened and that can also be very pretty, so it's up to you. So what you're going to need is just some kind of string, like several strings. I use shoelaces, like a ribbon, um, and you're also going to need a dark closet or just some dark space with good ventilation. So as you can see, I've started the process. This is a double knot for safety, another double knot. And you want to make one higher than the other so that each rose has its own space. And I wouldn't recommend doing more than three roses on one string. Okay, so here they are, all nice and hung. I like to keep the door like this for ventilation, and that's pretty much it. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, you want to dry your roses for about two weeks. If you're using a sunflower, make sure it's not like quite open yet, and it'll probably take about a week longer to dry. Um, thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed it.